Nice. It was nice. coming back alive, though. It is coming back. Yeah, the stream is frozen. There we go. It's back. It's back. That was weird, Bay. Yeah. So, do you want to go ahead? Let's go ahead and uh, annotate this here. Um, we're going to go ahead and say... Just so that people know what these different things are. Plus, I want to use this function. Uh, chamfer. Uh, I wonder how do I add another one. Hold on. Take your take your thing out. I, I'm just going to take snips. You'll see on the form. It'll look cool. Okay. I'll let you do it. I'll take my thingy off. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You take your thingy off. I will take my thingy off. That's going to cost a lot to make that case. Yes. The idea is not to make a cheap case. It's CNC, right? We might as well make something cool. I mean, whatever. Who cares? This is a design stream, man. We're designing. Sometimes it's expensive. But it definitely won't cost as much as a Zephyr. <laughs> Because <laughs> that thing is crazy. Although, if you guys say, I want a 5mm plate that CNC cut out, I would say, that's going to be expensive. Let's see here. And everybody is streaming tonight. Look at that craziness. All right. Are you good, Huey? Can I can I save and Hold on. go fine. to the next thing? No, he says. No, please don't. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. My, my non-chamfered version has appeared for some reason. It's a good version? Huh, I don't know what happened to my my picture of the... Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Can I move on yet or no? Yeah, you can move on. Okay. Hang on, let me just close the front door real quick, actually. It's getting chilly. Yeah. How much do you think the Zephyr plate cost to make? I'm not sure to be honest. I am honestly am not sure. Although, probably wasn't cheap. Probably wasn't cheap. How much do I think the Zephyr costs to make out of 550? The, I don't know. The 5 mil plate? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know I either. I don't even want to guess at this point. I could, but... I mean, it depends on where he got it, what kind of steel he used. Brass. It's a lot of factors. So. 5 mil brass. Crazy. 5 mil, mil brass? Yeah. Probably wasn't too expensive then because brass is really easy to machine. Uh, depends on how many got made or whatever. Uh, okay, so Castle 3, we're just going to go with that. There's some other things you know that we can make it nice to. We can add like radiuses to the corners here. Um, so if I like... Go ahead, I'm just going to suppress this out real fast. Oh, hold on, zoom out then so I can take a picture of that. No chamfer version. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, that's fine. You can keep that zoom level. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I'm all, I'm holding, baby. You just tell me when. You say, okay, Brandon, I'm done taking the picture. I am done taking the picture, Brandon. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. So we can add radiuses in here. Let's see what happens. Actually, I'm going to cheat a bit. I got them all? One more? Yeah. Does it, will it let me? Will it let me? Nope, it won't. How unfortunate. feel like this is not going to be fun. But we're going to look at it just real quick. Okay, I'm going to throw the chamfer on top. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like that, actually. Mm. Let's convert this to... Let's do something else here. I got an idea. Uh, let's press. Still kind of a pain. These corner ones will be really hard to blend properly for the machining. But we'll see. We're just gonna look at it. We're just gonna look at it. Yeah. Oops, I want all to be three. that now we can undo that so there's that way and then let's push this down here real quick I like that better what's that gonna be uh, called side chamfer yeah I added it on the corners here um, call it corner chamfer and I'll add a picture save corner chamfer I've taken that picture Go ahead. I got it. Take your picture, girl. I got it. I mean, if you wanted to make it really expensive, like we could put some some diamonds, uh, some pockets in here, and then like make this each of these have their own battlements on them, which would be kind of kind of sweet, actually. But uh, I think it'd be really expensive. Like, even more so. I feel like it's already pretty expensive. But I don't know. You feel like it's really expensive, but you don't know? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Brass accents on the towers. Oof. Uh, yeah, maybe. We Ooh. haven't got that far yet. So we still have to, like, we haven't done colors and stuff yet. We're just kind of, like, looking at the base design mm -hmm. and kind of playing with some stuff. And as you can see, I tried a radius on here, and it looks so good. So we switched it out for a chamfer, which looked a little bit better because it's more of a square design on this keyboard because of, you know, the battlements and whatnot. Um, you know, I could go around and do the whole thing, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Um, and just kind of, uh, kind of go with that for right now. Um. Yeah, it's still. I mean, it still looks good. I'm still, you know, kind of happy with it. We'll still we'll have to think about this for a little That'd bit. That'd be so, interesting. Cutout switch cutout to mount switches, so you can just put artisans or novelty keycaps on. Oh, that would be expensive. Maybe not the battlements, but the. Uh, the if towers. you if you just got a square out to like set them in there, that would be okay. Yeah, just a square out. But. If you tried like, to, like, put a mount in there, a cherry mount, that would be really pricey to, like, put ooh. on top of there. 
Was, but yeah, that actually could be cool. Is it's a fourteen mil by fourteen mil hole? Just oh. yeah. Well, it actually, it'd be nineteen by nineteen or nineteen by nineteen. Derp. You could actually do nine. 14 by 14 and then put a switch in there and then put a keycap on top of the switch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know how that would look, though. Probably, um, pretty something weird. that would be cool, but... Well, okay. All right, we're going we're gonna to start with... New, we're going to make a new one because I just had another idea. Ooh, ideas? I love ideas. Mm. The heart and soul. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, hidey hole. Next, castle four. Hang on. All right, so what if, what if we just suppress these real fast? Get out of my way. For our toggle switches, what if we like mounted them like that, or had some way to mount Ooh. them like that? Put the toggle switches in like at an angle. How cool would that be? Too cool for school. Too cool for school. I like it. I don't know. Maybe instead of having a tower, if you just have that raised section flush with the with the bottom. What do you mean? So you? it's. So it's just like from the base of the case slash plate that ray section comes up instead of going up a little bit on the battlement and then having that angle. See how the angle is on top of a rectangle basically? Yeah. If you just put that angle instead of on top of that just all the way down and onto what it's being raised from. Uh, that might look weird because we want to, it needs to be above the switches, right? So that when we put the toggle switch here... It doesn't interfere. Oh, uh, okay. That's true. So if you put it down super low like that, it's going to be right in the way of the switches. See, if I turn the switches on... Uh, this Remember, this is a 1.5 yeah. keycap right yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. So it's going to... Very true. Right there is, like, just above it. And actually, I would probably make it a little bit taller, and I'd probably put a flat on here still. Uh, I'd probably do it like this. I think this is the right... Oops. Undo. I probably do something like this. Okay. You know, toggle switch go here. Maybe. You know, put a hole here for the toggle switch or something. I don't know. Gene's gonna hate me for this. He's gonna be like, "What the?" are you doing boy i'm gonna be like whatever dude it's fine don't worry about it just don't just don't worry about it just make a place for it on the pcb will you and then somebody shut the hell up i don't know something like that maybe let's raise like that it'd have to be like and hand then, wired in uh yeah you'd have to probably have hand wire and some maybe some connectors or something yeah i don't know crimp style i don't know how he would do it I'm just I'm just here to make a cool thing and have him yell at me and make me change it. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's where you put the boiling oil. Yes. Yeah, you could. Or you could like make one of these a pen holder and one of these an inkwell and then just you know, fill the inkwell up and use it because you totally want ink right by your keyboard, I, I'm sure. Just use it as, just fill it with lube and have it be a lube well so you can lube your switches, lube your stabs. A lube well. You should, you know what, uh, speaking of lube well, you know what we should do is we should just, 
we can have we can build a system that'll lube every single switch at the push of a button, right? So you just you push the button in, it lubes all of your switches at once. You can lube them however much you want or however little you want. What do you say? But I bet Brian loves that idea. I I don't know how that would be implemented at all. Me either, but that's beside the point. Who cares? That'd be cool, though. It would be cool. Everything would be cool. All the things are cool. Heck yes. Hell yeah. Let's see. Actually, this needs to be two. Let's just see here. That looks weird as shit. Let's not do that. We're just going to leave it like that for right now. Uh, I'd have to, like, get some stuff to put in there as a toggle switch. Let's find a 3D model for a toggle switch. In. Okay. If you say so. Toggle switch mounts? Question. Add. Toggle All right, switch let's find us a toggle mounts? Switch. Yes. Nah. It doesn't have to be correct. It just has to be a toggle switch. Three way it toggle? It has to look cool. Let's Three find a cool looking toggle switch. Three, Three way toggle, toggle switch? It doesn't matter what, what way you want. I don't care. It's just going to be a cool toggle. It just has to fit. You can get one of the ones with the it red covers. Even, for me, it doesn't even have to cover. work. It just has to be cool. Yeah, I want to get one with the covers. Oh, a cover like one of those... Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The don't, don't push me one. That might yeah. be neat. Yeah. Those are actually, they don't really go with the toggle switch. They're an aftermarket piece you can buy. There, there, are, there are some that are, um, that's a sheath where um, when the sheath is on, it, it, it puts it in the off position. So if you make that cover go down, it'll always hit it onto the off position and cover it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those ones. Yep. Those would be cool. Because if you want to just turn off your keyboard or turn off your LEDs, just... Yeah. If you want to turn it on and go... Okay, bloop, so let's bloop. find a cool looking... Switch here. What's this one look like? Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. I'm just going to download it and throw it in. We're going to see what it looks like. Because I'm not waiting for it. Don't zip it. Don't remind me to rate the model. Go away. Just give me the file. <laughs> People are going to have uh, quite, a few, quite a few options to choose between. A flagpole. Someone has suggested a flagpole earlier, Coda. Flagpole. But not a bad idea. Uh, it would be like a, 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 a one with it attached separately. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Show the coat of arms of the castle. I'm going front. Keyboard. Brass flags. Yes, I saw that recommended. Or suggested, I mean. That'd be expensive flagpole, pro. Maybe we'll have to see. Have to see. Flagpole okay. where you can get like a miniature rope and a miniature flag and actually like. Ooh, Ooh that's definitely. Might work. Yes. Let's see what happens. Let's see how big it is. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> what are you doing over here? What in the world are you doing over here? Over here. Um, it's pretty big. Are there smaller toggle switches? Although I guess uh, I'm sure there are. It's just it's just a placeholder. I'm gonna delete all this stuff that doesn't fit. Don't don't you fret. Ooh, that looks cool though. 
That mm. looks pretty cool. This needs gargoyles. Pretty well. I think we're going more of a more of a um, uh, 14th, 15th century castle look as opposed to like a gothic style architecture. I think. I don't know. Maybe people want to take it the gothic direction. I'm talking about classic gothic, not American gothic. We'll see. I think that's what I mean. I don't know. I'm not an art person. I'm not an art person either. I'm just like, this looks cool. Sweet. Ooh, that does look really cool, though. Like, how cool does this look? Gene, how do you like this? How do you like this toggle switch? See, and on the other, okay. on the other raised tower on the inside part, that can be an LED... It'll change based on that toggle, so you know if that toggle's on or off. Instead of having Wait, where? So you know how like that's like... that's the there's there's two towers on the inside. The other one uh -huh. would have like an LED. So when you toggle hit the toggle switch, the LED will be one of two colors or just on or off. Mm. So it's like you also get the visual as well as the. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know how many pins we have left for that. Okay. I don't even know what this toggle switch would be used for. It's basically like a key switch, right? So Whatever we want, man. I have man. to look at the pins available on the chip. Or Gene could tell me if there's any left. I'm not sure. Or if, or if Jacob's here, he could tell me as well. Keep on, keep off, and mute on, and mute off. Uh, yeah, we probably would do two toggles, one on either side here, because otherwise yep. it would look silly with just one. Yep. Um. So yeah, so I imagine there would be two. You could pro. I know what one might actually be used for, but I can't tell you guys because it's a secret. Ooh. Uh, we actually have plans for something in this that you don't know about, and Ooh. we're gonna keep it a secret because we're cool like that. But it's gonna be cool. Um. So what it could be if used for that. This is gonna be the most unnecessary thing. You had a hydraulic suspension underneath, and you could no. just <laughs> flip it. <and> go, <laughs> How about a hydraulic suspension to change the angle? <laughs> you know, baller, keep whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, you know, like the hydraulics for the cars. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I thought about doing that because I thought, how funny would it be to make a keyboard? that jumped like a car like the car jumps <laughs> yeah. like how disgustingly funny would that be i'm like oh my god that'd be so expensive but that would be so hilarious <laughs> so finally we are making progress green label yes the, so that's the thing about design man is it doesn't come it's not instantaneous you have to do this whole process man like that's what i wanted to show people is you know, this designing anything, it doesn't matter how simple it is, is this huge process. And talking about it makes it take longer, but that's not the issue. The issue is that it's just not easy, right? Like, I'm going through and I'm doing multiple designs, right? Just sitting here with you guys. And even the basic stuff that I'm changing, right? I'm, I'm up to four versions now. Three CNC versions and one layered case version. But to give you an idea... The Kira, I have, I mean, we had a base, uh, we had a base that Angelo provided with us that was the, this is the look of it. And then beyond that, I meant like, I think eight or nine revisions of the Kira alone, like without making visual changes to it at all. Wow. So it really is a huge process. Um, and it takes so much time and there's so much like give and take, like you'll make a change and then they'll say, no, I don't really want to do it like that. Or, you know, or I want it differently, you know, the factory or maybe even the designer you're working with. Um, so it's, it's just a huge, huge process. And I think that that is often no matter how bad the design is or any one person thinks a design is like someone spent a ridiculous amount of time to even get that thing into the group by stage or into an interest check or whatever. Like it takes 
a crazy amount of time to do something. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm the best like keyboard designer yeah. out there, but like it just does. Like some people are faster at it, some people are slower at it. You know, some people like want to just create uh, the most crazy ass thing out there. Some people want to create something that a lot of people will buy. Some people want to create. You know, everybody just has different goals. Um, some people just want to make something that's cool for them, and then other people end up liking it, you know, and that's a thing that happens too. Um, so, and then once you've made a design, for example, on the Kira, when we first started doing the Kira, I was like, we have to make the bezel wider because we physically can't fit the screws in the bezel space that's there like it has to be wider and at the time thick ass bezels weren't in and it was like oh man you made it thicker i don't like it it's horrible and now six months later it's like thick ass bezels are everywhere and everybody wants them so we're like okay well we made it a little bit bigger so nobody freaking noticed like that's wonderful um so yeah uh, the price range for Kira is under two hundred. This we're this we're shooting for is under two hundred. Man, we made some good progress tonight. Want to see the form? Is the form? Are we gonna introduce any more options before the next episode? Um, should I go over the options on the form? Go over the options with me. Yeah, yeah. Bring the form up here on the on the stream here. Let's we'll take a look at it. Okay, hold, hold, hold on. That will take a, a second. Yes, that's with keycaps. And I don't know why thick be bezels became a thing, Juan. Yeah, we're trying to make. I mean, so that's the thing about Kira is you know we're trying to make at Input Club we want to make really cool stuff and we want to make really cool stuff that people can buy like. Yeah, we could make a seven hundred dollar keyboard or a six hundred dollar, but not everybody can buy that. And like, we want to make cool stuff accessible. Yeah, it's on so stream that's, now. That's like one of our goals. So, so I have a nice little picture of battlements. Nice. Starts off with, should we have some sort of battlements on the castle keyboard? Yes. No. Maybe. Short battlements. Tall battlements. And the answers for that are. Short, tall, alternating, tall only in corners. Next is battlement spacing, wide or narrow. People have options for wide or narrow. Do we want to add a moat? Yes or no. It doesn't have to be a moat filled with water, by the way. Yes, it could be filled with Some magma. Some people might think of a moat and be like, oh, it's filled with water. and You know, it just has to look like a moat. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be a moat. Then be, fill, I mean, you could fill with water if you wanted to, I guess. Chamfer tops? No chamfer tops. Corner chamfer or no corner chamfer? Toggle switch mount? And as an open response, what would you use the toggle switch for? Because I'm just curious to so know, you know? Yeah, did you take a picture with the toggle switch in it? I did not. Should I do that? Yeah, you probably should. Okay, yeah, I'll zoom me, in. Let me, let me hide. Let me switch over to that. Because otherwise, people might be like, "What the fuck is that? It's a hole." Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. Just zoom in, just straight to the switch, for me, if you can. Well, I want people to be able to see what it looks like with everything okay. else. Otherwise, it might be a little That's funky. Good. That's good. Geo, it is way too big for that tiny little hole, okay? I know yours would fit, but mine definitely wouldn't. Heh. <laughs> definitely not. Okay, with the title switch in, I got the picture in. And I think that's that's good for the form for an episode one of people given options, especially people who are watching the vid throughout the, the VOD throughout the week. They can be like, what? I want to yeah. participate in this. I want to give my input. 
the next episode on stream will also be going through all the choices as well, which will be fun. Yes, we will go through all the choices on stream. That sounds terrific. So I am going to uh, I'm going to go put the form in chat as well. It will be in the description for the VOD. So that will be good to go. Okay. I'm going to save this because I haven't saved it recently. Yes, you should do that. I will. And, Send. Uh, yeah. Link. Shorten the URL. Oh. Copy. Who's ready for that copy pasta? Franks and beans would fit Geo? My goodness. So, vote now. If you're, if you're watching the VOD, check below in the description because it will be there. That sounds good. Yeah. Tap light on the keyboard. What do you mean a tap light atomic 916? In green label, regarding the Zephyr, I felt like at that price it should have at least indicator lights for caps lock. Um, yeah, it's a premium product. It's it's different. There's a lot of machine time that goes into that thing. Um, there's a lot of angles. It's expensive to make. Um, I mean, if, so if you think about it, let me give you an example here. So let's go ahead and say that we made this case. We made this bottom section angled. Okay. Let me just let me just throw this on here I'll, and I'll just let you see what I mean. So Here, this just drag it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna rotate this bad boy a little bit and just give it a bit of an angle from the bottom. So, even just putting this little angle on here doesn't look like a big deal, but. The problem with this is, so when I was designing the K-Type, I originally designed it with an angled bottom milled into it. And the reason we didn't do it like that way in production was because I could attach a foot for cheaper. We had, we added magnets and like steel discs to mount the magnets to and like a foot. And that was still cheaper than doing this because you have to make a special fixture. There's a lot of machine time. You have to use like a two inch fly cutter to cut this. So this thing is like six inches wide, right? So that's three passes at however long this thing is like 15 inches long or something. And so you can only move it like, mm, I don't know, 60, let's probably less than 60 inches. It's probably like 30 inches per minute. So basically two minutes to just cut this angle, that's not including loading it into the machine, unloading it from the machine. There's gonna be some kind of fixturing to hold this down in some way. So you need like some way to hold it. You have to design the fixturing. So there's like so much that goes into changing one angle. And when you have like multiple angles and angles on angles, you have crazy fixtures, especially if you want to do production, you have to have fixturing. Otherwise, you end up with parts that don't match what you want. They're not consistent, and they are out of tolerance, and they're out of spec, and you, you're like, oh my gosh, this isn't what I spent $600 on this keyboard. I want it to be perfect. Yes. So, like you can't skimp on paying a lot of money for fixturing and paying for someone to design the fixturing and like all that stuff it all adds up and costs money and you know it's really really expensive to do stuff like this like something like this up here on top of the switch is not a big deal like i would just use a chamfer tool and i would just run it across here a few times 
you know, and I'd get, uh, you know, I'd rough it out with a different tool and I'd just finish it with a chamfer tool and it would look fine, right? I wouldn't have to change the angle of anything or make a special fixture. I would just use two different tools and, you know, create this angle here. And that's not a big deal. Uh, but when you're doing a huge surface like this, especially if it's flat, you use, you have to make a fixture or get a special tool like that does this weird stuff. You still, the machine only moves in three axes though. So you'd still have to, you know, even if you had a fly cutter that could cut this whole surface, which they do exist, they are very expensive, they go very slow, and you have to have a really good hold on this piece because it'll pull out of the vise and just destroy the machine. I've seen it happen. It, it's it's really disgusting. It's it's amazing, honestly, but it's disgusting. It did like nine thousand dollars worth of damage to a machine Ooh. because someone forgot to tighten the vise on a part. And basically, when you're cutting something, it's creating this pressure, right? And it actually sucks the part out of the vise. It doesn't just, like, knock it off to the side. It'll it'll suck it out up into the spindle, and then the whole machine will go, oh, my God, I don't know what just happened, and break. And that's exactly what happened. The guy okay. blew the transmission on the CNC machine. It cost $9,000 to get it fixed. So, yeah, those angles are something I try not to do because they're just expensive and they, they make everything so much more expensive. And I'm like, I could just make a foot like, yeah, it doesn't look as nice, but it also doesn't cost nearly as much to make a damn foot. Mm -hmm. And you can make bigger foots if feet, if you want to make the angle bigger or whatever, right? Like, you know, Huey suggested a really good idea that we might use on here for a foot actually, you know, using a, a triangular foot with different length sides, you know, to to have different angles. You just rotate the foot around. So we'll we'll play with that too, maybe in another stream or something like that. Uh, yes. But there's there's a lot of you know there's a lot of things to a lot of things, and so like why do you want to do things versus why don't you? That's you know that's why I wanted to do this stream. I think it's I love these questions. I think they're great. So. Sorry, Huey. No Just worries. For like six minutes. Yeah, this is pretty. I think this is a good, good, good place to bookmark this for next week. All right. Um. Yeah, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Um. Hopefully this. Hopefully, I wonder how my upload will be. Hopefully, I won't have to do a part one, and part two upload because it's gonna be annoying. But I might because the stream died for like thirty seconds. We'll see. But um. Yeah, the on the description of both videos or single video will be the link for the battlement ideas and options, and I'll also post it in a Discord as well for some community feedback. Let's call it. Well, one last question, though. So this version will be kind of an integrated integrated CNC bent plate? Question mark. No. No, we will not be integrating a uh, bent plate into this. It'll be a flat plate that's just um, just flat. Cool beans. Well, we'll see everyone next Friday, same time, 8 p.m. Pacific. We'll probably run two hours, maybe a little bit over. Um, this is going to be the goal weekly, and bit by bit, we're going to be assembling and designing this keyboard, and eventually we're going to have a pretty kick-ass kick project. I'm excited. I'm excited too. See you guys next week. See you guys next week. And stop 